I am Slick Neck, your personal hairline hero. Welcome to the unofficial sequel. I just shot a video based on a comment and originally I meant for the video to be about the thing I'm talking about in this video, but then it ended up being about how uh, the way that you gain enough confidence to shave off your hair is to shave off your hair. That's actually what gives you the confidence. And I also talked uh, about how if you had a choice to be perceived by everyone as either good looking or as slightly taller, uh, more physically uh, muscular, and more confident, if you, which would you choose? Obviously red, people, red pill people like me would always choose to look taller, more confident, and physically you know, stronger. Blue pill people tend to choose good looking because again, that's something that's that chasing of happiness that blue pill people do with their hair transplants and their propitia and all that stuff. Red pill people say, buzz it off. So in case you missed that video, look for it. Uh, I just, you know, I'll probably title it something like the way you gain confidence to buzz off your hair is by buzzing off your hair. You know, something like that. So it ended kind of on a cliff note, not a cliff note, a cliffhanger. Here's part two of that. And it's still based on the comment from Soul It Nova, something like that, 21, on a video I made called Bald by Choice. When I grow up my hair, when I grow my hair out, it looks weaker than my bald hair, head looks strong. Okay, so something he said on here that I wanna base this whole video off of. Uh, he says, it's always the videos where you shave off your hair that you look the best in my opinion. End quote, I'm making the whole video on that little short sentence. It's always the videos where you shave off your hair that you look the best in my opinion. So, I'm about a month into this whole thing where I shaved off my hair again, as I tend to do every year and a half or two years. So, I definitely personally like the way this looks more than any hairstyle I have. And even in this, uh, let's say, this fantasy, fantasy of a world where I had the perfect thick head of hair and a low hairline, still there's something about the concept of seeing a guy who's confident enough to shave off his hair, it sends us a message that a, a man with a quote, full head of hair can never convey the same message. Even if you technically do have a full head of hair or no one would really notice, it still takes you to a higher level than you could not get to otherwise. So that's how I feel about it. And I've always felt about it ever since I first did that about 20 years ago in college. But this is definitely how I feel. And I want you to laugh because this is funny. <laughs> So, here recently, in the past couple of weeks specifically, I'll be at the gym, you know, and people now have gotten used to, people that know me have gotten used to seeing me without hair as I'm consistently shaving it off at this uh, zero guard. And I've gotten the habit, I mean, whatever, whatever thing I'm doing at the gym, it could be the crunch machine. I, I do 80 pounds right now, do it three sets of 10. And when I'm doing, and it, it could be a guy that walks by and he could be older than me and have a thick head of hair. And my immediate thought is, he would look better if you just shaved it off. I, now, to be clear, I'm not saying this about guys that are already balding. I almost think that would be kind of rude for me to privately think that, hey, that guy that's kind of balding should shave his hair off. No, I'm thinking this about guys who have zero hair loss whatsoever. And I'm imagining them without hair. You know, it's, it makes me think of like, uh, like those old cartoons where like they get a, these x-ray goggles or something like Looney Tunes or something. And then, you know, they like, or like the joke on those things was like that they could see people without their clothes. Okay. So instead for me, I, I don't picture people without their clothes. I, <laughs> I picture men without their hair that have zero hair loss. And I think they'd still be better off without the hair. They'd still look better. Why? Going back to the prequel video of this one, it is my opinion and my perspective and my version of wisdom. And we know this is a fact. Please Google it. When studies have been done on guys that shave off their hair, the guys that, that have zero hair loss, guys that have no hair loss. So really I would technically fall into the category of not bald, okay? I know that I've got the receding hairline a little bit, but I would still, one or the other, I would fall in the category of not bald, just by default.
Okay, so people like me, the reports show that people say a guy like me looks better with hair. But the same reports say that I also look taller, more confident, and physically stronger without the hair. That, that, goes, for, that goes for everybody though. Now granted, if you're already losing your hair, the reports show that people think you're better looking with no hair if you're noticeably balding. Okay, but either way, Either way, what everybody agrees on is you look taller, physically stronger, and more confident without hair. So as I'm doing this and I'm looking at other men, I'm thinking, yeah, okay, I can see that. That guy that's 50 years old with a full head of hair, yeah, uh, he would look taller and stronger and more confident if he would buzz off his hair. That's how I feel. I'm telling you, I know it's weird, but this is the thing I'm doing now. When I see other men, I picture them without hair and think, man, they could upgrade. Not because they're balding, because that guy's not balding, but man, he, he could just shave it off. Goes back to the concept, it's also in that, in that comment too. If only I was brave enough to shave off my hair, then I'd have the confidence. And that's not how it works, okay? It's not how it works. If only I had the confidence to shave off my hair, or if I only was brave enough to shave off my hair, then I would be confident. It's not how it works. You don't start with being brave and then earn confidence, okay? Here's the funny thing about it. You simply make a decision. You, you look at your vision board and think, what do I want in my life in regards to hair? Well, I would like to shave off my hair, but I'm afraid to do it, but I would like to do that. So what if, what if I told you, just take the shortcut. There's a shortcut to get where you want to go. And why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you work smarter instead of working harder? Why would you want time to pass and you to have to learn all this knowledge or whatever it takes to get you to the point? Why don't you just skip that part? Fast forward. See, life is all about learning from life experience. And sometimes in life, you do have to wait things out several years to get where you need to be. That's part of life. But there's other things in life you don't have to do that for. This is one of them. So instead of thinking, I need to become brave so I can become, com so that I can shave off my hair to become confident, skip all of that. Just say, I'm going to go to the bathroom right now, get my clippers, take off the guard, zzz, Zzz, zzz. and within two minutes, guess what? You've instantly become hashtag brave, hashtag confident, hashtag slightly taller, etc. All of those things. You become those things. You can take the shortcut and just do the thing. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait to become brave or confident. You can go straight there right now as soon as I end this video, and if you don't have the Shortcut Pro by Remington, you can click on the link, get it on Amazon, because I hear it's not in all the Walmarts. Sometimes you just have to get online. Your comments belong right there.